Hello everyone and welcome back to Craft Force SMP. My name is Millie and you know what I want you to do today? I want you to hit that like button and the subscribe button because we're in for a lot of building today and a lot of decorating. We're going to go right into moving into the end dimension and building our shop. <laughs> Let's get started. Welcome one and all to the fabulous Millie's Marvels Antiquities and Bookstore or Bookstore and Antiquities. It is now open for business. I am so excited to show you around. Uh, after the video um, time lapse, I moved all of the items into the shop from around the shopping district. Now we will be splitting up some of these random items into other stores later, but I wanted to get everything here so it'd be easier to make little other pop-up shops um, around and we might like flank some other ones kind of here and there because some of these sh other items aren't as big as the bookstore, but we have the name tags from the bookstore down here now. We moved, well, I moved the spider eyes from the spider shack over here, while well, the spider eyes and string, and a little bit of scaffolding in case people need scaffolding. All of a sudden, it's a little pricey, but it might be worth it if someone's working around here. And then all of these boxes and things that you saw in the time lapse. These are going to be special item boxes. Every every time I get over here, I'm probably going to start putting random things in these boxes. And some of these things might be really good, just like at a antique store where sometimes you have to go digging through all the junk. This this is piles of stuff. So down here below, all of the items will be free. That's right, free. So any anybody who wants to find anything down in the items that aren't labeled can take them. Now they might have good things, they might have bad things, there might be like zombie flesh in them, they might have like crappy armor, but there also might be, you know, free books. Uh, mending books and unbreaking books and fancy armor and diamonds and stuff. So it's going to like behoove the crafters to come in here and just check them out as they go. Um, so good luck with that. Um, not, there's not that. I don't have barely anything in there right now, but I will be adding to it as I go. But it's been taking me a long time to get everything moved over here. Uh, golden carrots are going to be here for um, eventually all of them. I've just started stocking them over from the fishing hut. Some of them I'm going to leave. So we're probably going to have two locations for the carrots. 
And then you can kind of see that this is like a little cracker barrel um, or a little pickle barrel where people would come and play chess. And then a check barrel names for prices. So all here um, we have our multi-use um, tools like mending and they're up here. Once we name the barrels, it shows up on here on breaking fortune three, you know, some of them I, I'm to be determined, silk touch, that sort of thing, a protection for, so armor stuff, weapons, looting, bow enchantments, etc, etc, and a little location where they can come and get their diamonds and do any of their enchanting right here, and I'm going to get some backup anvils to put in that barrel probably at some point. And then we have the prismarine shop, and the prismarine shop, I'm slowly moving everything over, and then I realized I did not have four different barrels. I, I kind of ran out of room in this corner, so I might squeeze this over and add another barrel for the different types, but right now we have the prismarine, which not as many people like to use and the bricks, the dark prismarine, and the sea lanterns. And as I get more stock, I'll fill up the barrels above and below, but for now, it's just in those stacks. Then up above here are all the items, like the other miscellaneous items, which might end up eventually moving into their own stores. So the trades from the villagers, the glass, I started to sell the tinted glass since I have access to some amethyst. So, oh, somebody's already bought something. Excellent. Uh, bookshelves, I'm selling it at 16 a stack. So you have enough for an enchanting setup, uh, but not too many, um, just because it takes a little while longer to get a full stack for my villagers. And then some of these, since it's like one to one versus one to four. Um, same with the bricks are, are a, a stack of bricks. I also, our, our mushroom shack is right, I mean, our, our mushroom house and everything's right over a lush cave, so I have access to plenty of clay. Um, and I'm starting to sell some of the amethyst blocks, so I will be bringing more of that. We've got lanterns and ink sacks for sale. The sponge rentals have been moved over here. This is to be determined, so right now I just have the barrel in place. And these guys aren't really for sale yet, but eventually I might have nether work because I thought about farming some of those trees about the same time so it could be that these might get moved over and and i'll sell some other like random like mushroom things probably like the mini mushrooms and maybe the mushrooms from the warp forest like i have down below in decoration down there so yeah that is all of my journey so far to becoming the richest crafter on the Crafter server. Now what we need to do is head back to Inner Beauty and get some uh, interior design work. Hello, Oda. Welcome to Inner Beauty Design Shop. In, yeah, in, this place is looking shop. really nice. Yeah, yep. Me and Empress Little Bit, we we spent a lot of time working on in here, getting interiors ready for you guys. Whoops, I didn't mean to punch you. Oh, <laughs> <Aww>, bye. <No. laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> This this looks really weird when I'm sitting in this, by the way. Like first person I can just look down at the saddle instead of but like when I'm like this, I can see myself sitting, but it looks oh, like wow. I'm standing when I'm sitting here. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> it, lo it looks okay from this here, side. Here, so sit it at it. It looks look really strange. weird. It looks weird. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There you get very... You're like, Where, where's my body? <laughs> <laughs> like, what happened? I can't see it. Not like you can see it when you're normally standing either, but okay. Let me try right. that again without yeah, punching that's you. Yeah, you look down, you don't see it. <laughs> we'll take a little evening trip over here into Inner Beauty and see if uh, we can get someone to start decorating our home. Hey, oh, you know Oda. What? Welcome to going? Inner Beauty. Well, thank you. Interior I, uh, design store. Yeah, I saw the shop had opened, and I haven't been in here yet. Yeah, yep, I, I'm just 
just, you know, sitting here behind the desk waiting on uh, somebody to come by. Awesome. Well, it looks like I came right at quitting time, so I hope you don't mind if we uh, if we take a few moments to chat. Oh, no. <laughs> I've been bored all day. I've been, like, contemplating going and sitting in that hot tub, but... Uh... Ooh, hot tubs. <laughs> I like that idea. <laughs> So show me around what you got going yeah, on yeah, here. It looks so, like you have some displays up and So everything. plenty of displays. I, we have the Read Me book, but I'll kind of go over a lot of the stuff that sure. is, um, we do, it's, it's going to be a diamond block per hour of de, um, decorating, but. Good stuff. Well, I have, I have a, um, part of my home needs to be decorated. Um, oh, I have the, uh, I have the top floor of my starter house. Well, it kind of. <laughs> It kind of looks like it might be like in the basement of a mad scientist. <laughs> <laughs> and if we go over there, you can uh, see for yourself. But um, I need it to look like something that might be a little bit more livable. Okay. Well, do you want to do you want to go head over there and take a look at it so you can show me the space? Yeah, sure. Let's head over there. All right. So this Ooh. this is the top room. Let's see what I mean. How it feels like this, the basement of a mad scientist. This definitely looks like the basement of a mad scientist. Yeah, it's not a, not a big space. I mean, this is of course still just my starter home, but yeah, it would be nice to actually have a, an attractive, useful room up here. Yeah, especially if you come in flying like we are at middle of the night and uh, <laughs> come down, right. sleep in the bed. Um, do you? Is it okay if I raid your storage for for supplies or? Oh, 100%. Okay. Anything I've got down there that's usable, go for it. Okay, excellent. That, that'll, that'll save you some money in the long run. I think if we add some trim up through here, we can extend these carpets. We definitely need green. Hey, Millie. This thing. Oh, hey, Millie. I, 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 hey. I just kind of started without you a little bit but um okay i heard you wanted to do the interiors of this thing finally yes it it's long overdue yeah there's so much potential here what uh do you do you want to show me around and we can see which which spaces you want to be done specifically okay well you're, you're basically looking at this space that i want done specifically okay. so all of this area and maybe even the uh competitors rooms okay. in here because right now it's just a, a little bland. Oh yeah, very plain. Now there is also a room back here. Oh, okay. Which I blocked off mainly because the redstone, I didn't want it to be- uh, Yeah, you know, so I'll have to kind of cap the off the redstone so that's not seeable, yep. but okay. Though just a, a, oh, yeah. a good I reminder would probably... that you can't place anything up against the honey blocks. No, no, I'd probably build out a wall out through this way and just kind of cap it off. Yeah, Nowhere probably a good it. idea. Is it the same on the other side? Yeah, same on the other side. Okay. So basically, this whole area can be utilized or something if you wanted to do that. Yeah, I mean, we could even make another entrance on this wall if we wanted to do that. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I think you, somebody mentioned wanting to do, like, jousting with horses. So do you want to, like, have, like, uh, horse stalls back in through here? I mean, I'm cool with that. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm giving you total creative uh power for everything in here i trust nice. your judgment nice 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 so if we do all of just the just the basically the giant big donut that goes all the way around this i'm kind of yeah. thinking depending on how much i do i'm kind of estimating like uh, two to three hours of work time um for the inner beauty pricing we charge about a diamond block per hour depending on you know how many materials we have to get and that kind of thing right right is that is that doable that is doable okay yeah. now that we have our jobs in place for both oda and lucky lane we need to start looking at um, the builds and the spaces that we have so on oda's he kind of showed us that we want to do this space up here which means we're gonna have to take out all of these drip stones and maybe find a way to incorporate this very bright orange color or cover it up in some way. So, hey, you hey! said you were done with the interior, huh? I absolutely am. Are you ready for the grand reveal? I'm, I can't wait. I'm so excited. Yay. All right, come on in. Come on in your house. Let's head upstairs to the bedroom. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's now a bedroom, by the way. There's no, no, oh, nice. no bed My on the stairs anymore. anymore. <laughs> Ta-da! 
Oh, wow. This... <laughs> This yeah. is awesome. You now have a bed, and you have a desk to hang out at, and a whole bunch of books for for night reading. I love it! Oh my god, this is how did you fit so much stuff in this little space? <laughs> how do you I, do this? I, I don't know. It just, but you know. <laughs> and you hid <laughs> most of the uh, most of the pumpkins and stuff. Yeah, I couldn't do anything oh. with the ladder section and the like. The corner section's not easy, but yeah. Oh, and yeah, I added in, I, I took from a lot of your chests, I brought the books, um, but I took from your chest for like all the the mud bricks and that sort of thing to kind of match this kind of tone, since orange and brown yeah. look really oh, good together. Wow. Wait a minute, this isn't the whole room though. This, this isn't wasn't the my... whole room, you ready to go no. see your man cave? No, seriously? Come on. Oh, come on, no. Oh, dude, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Now you can watch TV yeah, yeah, or so read. Sit on, my couch. Stand on your so couch. couch. There we go. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah. And then, you know, if, if somebody comes to raid your castle, we've got your 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 like swords and armor and stuff like and crossbows <laughs> and spy glasses so that you can climb up to the top of your tower and defend it. Oh nice. That's awesome. <laughs> Oh, this is goofy. My, my thing is making me still see the armor stands. Oh, that's a shame. Well, they'll, they'll see it on my video what it what it could look like. It just hangs directly from the... Um, that's right. Go, the, go, check out the go check out Millie's video so you can see what these actually are supposed to look like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then come right back to... No, watch Oda's video first and then... <laughs> no, no, no. Stop watching mine. Go watch No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, this is all it even says MCO's man cave. That yeah. is fantastic. I love it. Oh, this is so cave. cool. I'm glad you like it. It's cool. And let me run down here to the the boring old storage room. <laughs> it's still a nice storage <laughs> room. You it fit a actually. lot in here, honestly. There's a lot in this room. Yeah, I've got all these like little hidden barrels and stuff. <laughs> Nice. Well, here you go. There's your dime. Oh, gosh. I'll, yeah, I'll <laughs> that would have been colors. bad. <laughs> <laughs> nice doing business for, with you. Well, my friend, I put up a curtain so you wouldn't wouldn't peek, but it is ready. <laughs> yeah, I, I just want to say for the record that knowing you've been on here working on this nonstop, it has been so <laughs> tempting to peek, and I've been trying my hardest to not do it. I have succeeded. <laughs> I don't know what's back here, but <laughs> but it has been so hard. <laughs> well, when you are ready to see it, don't don't mind the the sign. Mind the block underneath the first sign there, and it should reveal it. And uh, okay, it's well, up to you I'm, when I'm you're doing ready. That that the block, not that. Oh well. Oh, oh God. <laughs> the whole thing. Put it all back, line. Put it all Put it back. back. <laughs> you screwed it out. Okay. All right. Da 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 da. Go okay. and see your new interior in the Coliseum Lane. I am loving this already. <laughs> this can be moved wow. over so you can actually put signs on it or have heads or like, you know, verses or anything like that. Right yeah. now it's just an art piece. Well, it, it's a nice art, art piece. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really like what you did here. Thank you. Ooh, I see you even worked around the back. Oh, absolutely. It's all done. A, I haven't put horses in. Oh, That's up to you. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. You missed the armor stand. <laughs> oh, did I? Yeah, the, the kids are playing gladiator over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 nice. <laughs> nice. I love that so much. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I can't get over this. I've got the biggest smile on my yeah, face. Yeah, we've right got now. we got water coolers for the I for see. the contestants, so it, like they make sure they get some water before they go <laughs> in. And then these are extra empty barrels to put, you know, saddles and leads and whatnot for horses. And again, I didn't put horses in, but there's like stalls inside and then a pen outside. All right. Oh wow. I am really loving this. And then you this have is blown the, my mind. This is oh the bar area, gosh. so you can actually like sit at the bar and take bets on uh, the the contestants or get a drink. 
wow, this is awesome. I love this. It's a neat bar stool. Take, take, take a look I have at never t- thought to use a lectern as a bar stool. I, I will say that I got that idea from Flip. So that is a Flip build um, from his goblin bar. But like, I loved it so That's much cool. that. And you can that sit here and watch so cool. and watch the fights. So yep. <laughs> yep. That is awesome. And then t- take a look at the daily specials. Emmy helps me with some of them. Lucky Lane Logger, Zinx Kitchen Sink, <laughs> <laughs> PB Pun- PVP Punch Champlain, Creeper Cooler, MC Oda Cola, and Millie's Mules. I love that. <laughs> nice. We, we need to we need to find like figure out some other ones for like Toblox and Emmy and E and L, but those are the yeah. ones we could come up with last night. And then <laughs> Emmy and I, I Emmy just managed to to get sink. us a bartender last night because he was hanging out there, and she just just decided to hire him. And uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, he lo- he looks very pleased to be we here. Think, so. We think he's 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 Captain Grumble's cousin or something. That's. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I've got a few of Captain Grumble's cousin's heads myself, so. <laughs> <laughs> so then back over here are a couple more, like, stalls for other horses, but we got, I got a, oops, I let him out, but I'll put it back. Um, I was going to have a chicken back here so he could, like, uh, you, if you wanted to have, uh, sell eggs to <laughs> <laughs> nice. no, he's just throw it, throw at the contestants, <laughs> and we could do that. But he's he's a breakdancing chicken, though. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> I'll get it back in his stall. But otherwise, everything else is pretty much just the same on this side. A um, little different on this side because of the different sizes of the hallways. So then we have one of the contestants kind of just waiting out here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Feel this free to awesome. change the heads. I don't have a lot of heads, so. So, so this, one's gonna, okay. this one's going to be fighting Archon, huh? That one's going to be fighting Archon, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is awesome. I really love the staircase being up here. Yep. Staircases on both sides. Oh, yeah. Check it out instead of the ladder. Yep. This is so cool. Millie, you have outdone yourself. Thank you. I'm glad I've you like had it. the biggest <laughs> smile on my face running around here. Good. I'm so glad you like it. <laughs> oh yes, I love it. Cause once you see the bill, um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling I'm gonna have to go That's diamond funny. mining. <laughs> yeah, I, it took. We might have probably, to make a payment plan. <laughs> yeah, probably took about five or six hours so kind of estimating about six diamond blocks for this guy but hopefully that's <laughs> worth it <laughs> uh well actually yep i've got that oh well excellent Woo! man that guy's loaded great <laughs> doing Not business no with you <laughs> I, was thinking, I was just thinking every one of my diamonds is sitting in the end right now i don't know <laughs> <laughs> Well, actually, they're not mine anymore. They're, they belong to someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's episode. If you didn't leave a like and subscribe, please do that. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see here on the channel and the Craftwork server next. And I am probably, if not the most wealthy crafter on the crafter server and i'm so excited about that i mean look at these diamonds look at these beautiful diamonds i have so many diamonds i don't know what to do with yet i mean actually i'm gonna pick them up that's what i'm gonna do with them um (laughs) but i wanted to tell you all thank you so much for watching love you so much i appreciate every single one of you for joining me on this adventure and i hope you like it I had so much fun doing these builds and uh, having all of these awesome interactions with all of the crafters. This this took a lot of time, like between the Coliseum build and decorating up Oda's shop. I probably I probably undercharged myself, um, but it was totally worth it. It was so much fun to do it, and also their their expressions when when we did the reveals on these things were, were priceless. It was amazing. And I, I love being able to help them out and have a finished build. Um, and it, and it gives them some ideas for next time. So maybe, maybe the next build, they'll try tackling something on their own. If not, we're here for them. So uh, signing off from the Craftwork server, my name is Millie and I will see you next time. Take care of yourself, give yourself a big hug and appreciate yourself every day. 
Bye, guys. And as usual, I hit record and it's raining. But, you know, click on one of these awesome uh, videos. Take a look at one of my other builds. I'm sure you'll like it. Have a great one.